There is a long list of amazing players in the history of the Super Bowl, but there are some players who become legends in their careers due to their incredible performances and stats in the Super Bowl that are very difficult to break. You're trying to help your team. You're trying to win. And suddenly your team gives you an opportunity and creates a platform. In the position number five, we have the running back Emmitt Smith. Emmett Smith is undoubtedly one of the best running backs in NFL history. He played as a professional for 15 years, with 13 of those years being spent with the Dallas Cowboys. Smith up the middle, breaks a tackle, comes right, punches it in, touchdown Cowboys! Smith played a crucial role in the Cowboys' three Super Bowl championship. During the Super Bowl XXVII in 1993, the Dallas Cowboys defeated the Buffalo Bills with a final score of 52-17. Emmett Smith carried the ball 22 times and made a total of 108 rushing yards. He also scored a touchdown, which helped the team win their first championship. In the 1994 Super Bowl XXVIII, the Buffalo Bills sought revenge against the Dallas Cowboys. The Bills had really kind of shut down our running game in the first half. And they find themselves trailing 13-6 at the half. However, the Cowboys won again 30-13. Smith excelled in the game by gaining 132 rushing yards and scoring two touchdowns, which led him to receive the prestigious Super Bowl MVP award. He became the first running back of the Dallas Cowboys to earn this recognition. In the same year, Smith also achieved a remarkable feat. He won the NFL MVP award, the NFL rushing crown, the Super Bowl ring, and the Super Bowl MVP, all in the same season. He is the only running back in the entire history of the NFL to have received all of these awards in the same year. In 1996, Emmett Smith won his third Super Bowl ring when the Dallas Cowboys faced the Pittsburgh Steelers in the Super Bowl, 30. The Cowboys won the game with a score of 27 to 17. Despite only having 49 rushing yards, Smith scores two rushing touchdowns. Emmett Smith holds the record for the most career rushing touchdowns in Super Bowl history. He scored five rushing touchdowns throughout his career, helping the Dallas Cowboys to win three championships. In the position number four, we have the running back Franco Harris. One of the greatest running backs in Super Bowl history, Franco Harris led the Pittsburgh Steelers to four championships with his physical running style and remarkable performances. In Super Bowl IX, Harris's exceptional performance on the field helped the Steelers to secure their first championship victory in 1975 against the Minnesota Vikings with a score of 16-6. He showcased his exceptional talent and skill by running for a then-record 158 yards and scoring a touchdown in the game. As a result, he was named the Super Bowl MVP. The arrival of Franco Harris in Pittsburgh signaled a turning point for one of football's most storied franchises. In Super Bowl X in 1976, he demonstrated his consistent brilliance by running for 82 yards on 27 carries, helping the Steelers win their second consecutive championship by defeating the Dallas Cowboys, 21-17. In Super Bowl XIII, Franco Harris had a remarkable performance, rushing for 68 yards and a 22-yard touchdown on 20 carries. This helped the Steelers to win their third Super Bowl in 1979, defeating the Cowboys 35-31. I love being a running back. I love those tough games, those big games. In 1980 at Super Bowl XIV, Harris once again proved his worth. He scored two touchdowns while rushing for 46 yards on 20 carries. Winning their fourth championship in just six years, they defeated the Rams 31-19. Franco Harris is a legendary NFL player who holds two impressive records in the Super Bowl. He has gained the most career rushing yards in Super Bowl history with a total of 354 rushing yards. Unbelievable was it that we did it again and again and again. Additionally, he holds the record for the most career rushing attempts in Super Bowls with 101 carries. Harris's legacy will remain an essential part of the Super Bowl's history, and his impressive performances will continue inspiring generations of football players and fans. In the position number three, we have the quarterback Joe Montana. 
Joe Montana is a successful quarterback with a great impact on the San Francisco 49ers. With him in the team, the 49ers won four of their five Super Bowls and enjoyed the most successful postseason performances. In 1982 at Super Bowl, 16, Montana led the San Francisco 49ers to their first Super Bowl victory against the Cincinnati Bengals. He threw for 157 total passing yards, one touchdown pass, and rushed a one-yard touchdown in the game. The 49ers won the game 26-21, and Montana was honored as the Super Bowl MVP. The throw to Cooper. Cooper scores for San Francisco. The 49ers have won it. His second Super Bowl win was in 1985 against the Miami Dolphins at Super Bowl 19. Montana set a then record for throwing 24 completed passes, throwing three touchdown passes, and establishing an NFL record for most passing yards in a single game with 331, winning with a score of 38 to 16, and earning his second Super Bowl MVP award. Everything that happened for this franchise, it started with number 16. In 1989, Montana's talent shone again in the Super Bowl, 23, when he led his team by throwing 23 completed passes, 357 passing yards, and two touchdown passes, winning with a score 20 to 16 over the Cincinnati Bengals. He's the best, the best. Joe Montana, I'll say he is the best who's ever played the game. In the Super Bowl, 24, Montana made his final appearance in 1990 and led the 49ers to a dominant win 55-10 over the Denver Broncos. He threw for 297 yards and he created a then Super Bowl record of five touchdown passes in a game, showcasing his clutch plays and ability to deliver under pressure. Montana earns his third Super Bowl MVP award. Montana was the first player to be named the Super Bowl MVP three times. He also holds Super Bowl records for most career passes without an interception with 122 passes in four games, the all-time highest passer rating of 127.8, and also he holds the NFL record for most wins with four championships in a Super Bowl without a loss. Montana had 1,142 passing yards, 11 touchdowns, and no interceptions in those four Super Bowls. Montana's outstanding performances in Super Bowl games have solidified his status as one of the top greatest quarterbacks in Super Bowl history. In the position number two, we have the wide receiver, Jerry Rice. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest wide receivers and left an amazing mark on the Super Bowl stage throughout his illustrious career. What goals have you set for yourself? Number one, I would like to meet an all-time receiver. Rice appeared in four Super Bowls, three during his tenure with the San Francisco 49ers and one with the Oakland Raiders winning three rings in those four finals and earning MVP honors in one of those games. In the Super Bowl, 23 in 1989, Rice played a pivotal role in the San Francisco 49ers' victory 20-16 over the Cincinnati Bengals. He caught 11 passes for a Super Bowl record, 215 yards, including a 14-yard touchdown reception, earning him the Super Bowl MVP award. On for the big bomb to Rice! Rice continued his success in 1990 in the Super Bowl 24 against the Denver Broncos, catching seven passes for 148 yards and scoring three touchdowns, helping the 49ers to win with a score of 55-10 over the Broncos. His reliability as a pass catcher and his knack for finding openings in opposing defenses made him a favorite target for his quarterbacks in crucial moments. The boy is going to party tonight. Hey! In the Super Bowl, 29, in 1995, Rice once again showcased his dominance on the biggest stage, catching 10 passes for 149 yards and scoring three touchdowns in the 49ers' victory, 49-26, over the San Diego Chargers. His ability to consistently produce big plays in Super Bowl games solidified his reputation as one of the greatest players in Super Bowl history. Across the middle, catch by Rice, beat the defender on the play, touchdown 49ers. 
Finally, in 2003 at the Super Bowl, 37. We play together, they cannot stay on the field with us. All right, Raiders on three. One, two, three. With his new team, the Oakland Raiders, despite his 77 receiving yards on five catches, Rice's team fell 48 to 21 against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, making his last Super Bowl appearance. Jerry Rice holds until now multiple records in the Super Bowl history. He amassed a total of 589 receiving yards, the most career Super Bowl receiving yards. Also holds the record for the most receptions in Super Bowl history with 33 catches and the most career touchdowns with a total of eight touchdowns scored in over his four appearances at the Super Bowl. These records reflect Jerry Rice's exceptional talent, work ethic, and ability to perform at the highest level when it mattered most, solidifying his status as a true legend of the game. We have reached number one in the selective group of NFL legends, and one name resonates with the echo of greatness and the shimmer of championship rings, the greatest of all time, Tom Brady. He's the best football player to ever play football, ever. Brady's history in the Super Bowl begins in 2002 in the Super Bowl, 36. Being his second year as a professional, Brady led the New England Patriots to a 2017 victory over the St. Louis Rams with 16 completed passes, 145 total passing yards, and one touchdown pass, achieving his first Super Bowl championship and Super Bowl MVP award. And I just, I put my hands on my head like, can you believe this has happened? His second championship was in 2004 in the Super Bowl, 38, winning with a close score of 32 to 29 against the Carolina Panthers. His growth was exponential, achieving 32 completed passes, 354 passing yards and three touchdown passes, earning his second Super Bowl MVP award. I mean, we're not gonna lose this game. You know why? Because we have Tom Brady. In 2005, Brady managed to beat the Philadelphia Eagles by a score of 24 to 21 in the Super Bowl, 39, with a total of 23 completed passes, 236 passing yards, and two touchdown passes. He achieved his third Super Bowl ring. His first defeat on the big stage came in 2008 when he faced the New York Giants in the Super Bowl, 42. Losing by a score of 17 to 14 was probably one of Brady's worst appearances in the finals and surprising because the Patriots reached the finals with a 16-0 record in the regular season. In 2012, the same scenario was repeated in the Super Bowl, 46, when they faced the New York Giants again. But their rematch was not successful as they lost again by a score of 21 to 17. Brady has three losses in the Super Bowl, two of them were against Eli Manning and the Giants. And it took about 10 years for Brady to lift the Vince Lombardi trophy again, where in the Super Bowl, 49, they beat the Seattle Seahawks with a score of 28 to 24. Brady's performance was amazing with 37 completed passes, three 28 passing yards, and four touchdown passes, earning his fourth Super Bowl win and third Super Bowl MVP award. In 2017, Brady led the New England Patriots to the Super Bowl, 51, to face the Atlanta Falcons. The Patriots trailed by a score of 28-9 starting the fourth quarter. Brady and the Patriots achieved one of the best games of their careers, setting a record for the best fourth-quarter comeback in the NFL playoffs, tying the game at 28 and taking it to overtime. With 43 completions, 466 passing yards, and two touchdown passes, Brady and his amazing performance earned his fifth Super Bowl ring and fourth Super Bowl MVP award. Brady faced the Philadelphia Eagles in the Super Bowl 52 in 2018. It was arguably one of Tom Brady's best performances in Super Bowl history. But unfortunately, the end result was not what Brady expected. With 28 completions, 505 passing yards and three touchdown passes, it was not enough to achieve the victory, losing with a score of 41 to 33. It was Brady's third defeat on this great stage. In the Super Bowl, 53 in 2019, Brady appeared again in the final to face the Los Angeles Rams. Tom Brady threw 21 completed passes, 262 passing yards, and no touchdowns. And although he did not shine as in previous performances, he beat the Rams by a score of 13-3. With this victory, 
Brady won his sixth and last championship as a player for the New England Patriots. With a change of team and new goals in mind, Tom Brady announced that he was signing for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And in his first debut season, he reached the Super Bowl 55 in 2021 to face the Kansas City Chiefs. Tom Brady was not affected by a change of scenery, as he managed to throw 21 completed passes, 201 passing yards, and three touchdown passes to beat the Chiefs with a score of 31-9, achieving his seventh Super Bowl championship, more than any single NFL franchise, and his fifth Super Bowl MVP award. He holds numerous Super Bowl career records, including 21 total touchdown passes, 421 total attempts, 3,039 total passing yards, and became the first player to win a Super Bowl in three different decades at 43 years old. Tom Brady's Super Bowl career is undoubtedly legendary. He has won seven Super Bowls and received five MVP awards, which has cemented his position as one of the greatest quarterbacks in NFL history. His impressive statistics, ability to perform under pressure, and never-give-up attitude have earned him the respect and admiration of football fans worldwide. Although his retirement marks the end of an era, his legacy will continue to inspire and serve as a testament to his remarkable talent and dedication to the game. Legends have been born under the Super Bowl lights. Emmett Smith was an unstoppable force. Frank O'Harris was a physical runner. Joe Montana was a genius under pressure. Jerry Rice was a master of the end zone. And Tom Brady is the GOAT. Their great performances and stats speak for themselves. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share with us your thoughts on the best five all-time Super Bowl legends.